so peaceful here. Yeah. It's always interesting how peaceful things seem to get when you're in a cemetery. Like you could be in the middle of a completely busy city and then you come into the cemetery and it's just quiet, peaceful. You don't you don't really hear the cars, you don't really hear the traffic or you know everything going on like I can see the cars driving by but I can't hear them I'm here quite literally I just hear the breeze rustling through the trees I hear birds occasional bees buzzing around and everything it's just beautiful here and today's video in case you haven't guessed we're in a cemetery well technically a memorial park so this we're here at Westminster Memorial Park Though it wasn't always called that. It was called Central Memorial Park and it opened in 1924. And we are here because we're gonna go look for a famous grave. And um, actually that's not the only reason it's here. We just finished a private visit. Um, I do have relatives buried here, but I decided to kind of look up and just kind of last minute see, okay, are there any happen to see if there's any famous graves here. There's at least 15 people here, but there's one in particular that we're gonna go find. So let's go. Okay, so we did manage to find it after a little driving around. It took a little driving around because um, I wasn't familiar with every part of the cemetery and so they don't have, so how the cemetery works is they don't have like oh, it's off of this road or that road, because they all kind of have similar names. It's each plot has a different name. And we were driving around, we drove around at least half the cemetery looking for Remembrance. And we did find it. And then it took a little more searching. Thankfully, there is a photo up online on Find a Grave that shows you where to go. And thanks to my wonderful husband back there, he was able to line up the picture and find out where the famous person we are visiting is buried. And the famous person, one of the famous people that I found buried here, is right here. Mr. Stafford A. Rep. So now you may be asking, well, who is he? passed away in 1974 so how would I you know younger kids you know my age a little younger and I might go well who was he he doesn't sound famous he played Lieutenant O'Hara in the Adam West 1960s Batman show yes that actor if you've seen the show you know that actor and he's been in several other things but yeah we found out he was buried here and wanted to come and see his grave. And we have, we have paid respects. So now we are gonna head back to the car, but while we're heading there, I wanna tell you a little bit about him. So he actually didn't fully embrace his acting career until after World War II, until after he, his service in World War II. So he did serve in the armed air forces. He joined up shortly after Pearl Harbor happened. And even while he was in the armed forces, he was actually involved with the theater and acting while acting and doing stage performances as well, but it was after he left the service that he fully embraced his acting career. Now he was in several other things and my notebook is in the car. So I'm gonna head back to the car, get my notebook and oh, I'm just making sure I don't step on anyone's headstone. I'm going to head back to the car, get my notebook, keep updating you guys. All right, we are back in the car. And I wanted to do the rest of this in the car because it is getting, oh, okay. It's getting close to 6.45. The Memorial Park does close at 7. Plus, I wanted to be respectful. This is still an active cemetery, and I just didn't want to really intrude because I see people driving around. I see people, uh, I keep, I'm keeping them out of camera shot, but I do see people walking around. I just want to be respectful, so I'm going to do this part in the car. Plus, needed my notebook. <laughs> my memory is not perfect, but I've got it written down. Um, all right. So he is, yes. Yeah, so he's best remembered for his role in the TV series, Batman, which also starred Adam, Adam West and Burt Ward. 
Uh, he also had roles in other movies. He had one with Barbara Eden in How to Marry a Millionaire. Then there was Rawhide. The Donna, he had a, he wasn't starring in, but he had roles in these shows and movies. Um, the Donna Reed Show, Gunsmoke, Perry Mason, The Twilight Zone, and several others. So, uh, yeah. So he lived a pretty great life, but I am a very big fan of the Batman, 1960s Batman show. I always loved it, and he, his character always kind of made the show, like, the little comedic bits, like, his timing was perfect, loved his acting in that show, and while I was looking at Famous Graves, as soon as I found out that his grave was here, I really wanted to come and find it, because he was a really great actor, and I did enjoy his work, but he is not the only person buried here. Here are just a couple of other names that are also here at the park, but as I said, it's getting close to closing time. I don't really have time to go find all of them, so I'll leave it to come back, but uh, Bobby Barber, uh, best known for playing um, character actors. He was in several Abbott and Costello movies, most famously, as well as, well as several various other films. Uh, Neil Leslie Fredericks. Now, if that name doesn't sound familiar, it's okay. It didn't sound familiar to me at first. He is best known as being the director of photography for the Blair Witch Project. He is, yeah. And then the last famous one, which I think just about everyone might know, is Bradley Noel. He, he was the lead singer for Sublime. He passed away in the 1990s. And actually, he, he is not actually buried here. He, uh, from what I read, his ashes were actually scattered at sea, but there is a headstone here that serves as what they call a cenotaph, or essentially a monument to someone who is buried someone out, somewhere else. So, another time we will come back and possibly visit these graves. Respectfully, of course. As I said, this is still an active cemetery, so if you do wish to come out and any of you want to pay your respects to Stafford Rep. He is buried in the Remembrance area in, uh, sorry, Section C. So you will need to drive, when you come in, you'll go straight back. When you get to the very end, make a right, and then that'll be Remembrance. And his grave is closer I drove, I went the long way around because I wasn't sure where his headstone, his grave was going to be. But if you park along the main way and you walk inwards, there is a tree that you'll be able to line up with the shot in this video and you'll be able to find it. So, but if you do come here, please be respectful. And yeah. So that's it for today's video. That is today's adventure. And yeah. So stick around. My next video will be out on July 10th and we'll see what adventures I get up to until then. All right. Until then, safe exploring everyone.